After having walked through how to set up the private server about 50 times with people on a one-on-one -on -one setting, I decided it was finally time to just make a YouTube video detailing the process. So let's have a look at what it looks like. We're going to go ahead and share screen on Discord. And maybe this is you. You're sitting in some imp server lobby and then everyone's flaming you for not having the private server installed. So just imagine that there are a bunch of other people here. Now what you need to do is go to a channel called Imposter Server. It'll look like this. And read the text carefully. It will tell you everything you need to know. But a lot of people will get confused and just scroll all the way to the bottom and click random links. This is not the play. You need to understand which platform you're playing on. Are you playing on PC? Are you playing on a mobile device? If you're playing on a PC, you can press one of these buttons. I recommend the Steam button. If you're playing on a mobile device, you can press one of the mobile buttons. You can also use these bottom instructions. I wouldn't recommend them. Just go ahead and click Steam, pretending you're on PC like me. We download anyway. We say continue to download. Cool. Now that we've downloaded the file, we're going to go to it in a folder. And we're going to say extract all. Cool. Then after it's extracted, we're going to go to the directory that gets created. And we're going to open this folder. Inside it is a program called Imposter. If you are running a computer that does not have these extensions on the end, which looks a little bit like this, then you won't know what you're doing and you might click this config file. You need to click the one with the red icon. We're going to re-enable file name extensions. After you run the program, you might see a warning dialog saying that it comes from the internet. Ooh, scary internet program. A lot of people here are tempted to just press the X and then click other random buttons. This is not the play. You need to click more info, followed by run anyway. Cool, run anyway will allow the program to run. When the program is running, some of you may be click tempted to click this drop down and mess with settings. That is not the play. You need to click save and say OK. Now you can open your Among Us game and watch what happens when we run Among Us now. I'll go ahead and move my camera and show you the region text at the bottom right is green text ranked Among Us NA. This means you have the private server installed and you're good to join a lobby. In fact, if we go ahead and create a game, you'll notice some differences. For instance, the very first thing that appears in the in-game chat reveals straight away that you're in the private server. Here it is, currently connected to ranked Among Us tournaments. Ranked, auto mute, for a list of commands, type commands, and you can do all sorts of things in here. You can change your color at will. Even if someone else already has that color, please don't do that in a ranked game, because that will be a cancel. We don't want two people with the same color. And yeah, you can change the map without having to rehost. So now the map is Mirror HQ. Uh, that used to not be possible in the vanilla client, but anyway. With all this setup, you are free to join a ranked game of Among Us on any server at all. Good luck, have fun.